Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these Nathan's Famous Coney Island Beef Pretzel Dogs. These are beef hot dogs wrapped in a pretzel dough, but it's the Coney Island version. Um, individually wrapped for freshness. This is a 16 ounce or one pound, 454 gram package. There are four pretzel dogs in the package. We bought these at Critchfield Meat, which is a local market. Um, they were expensive though. They were $11.79 for four. If you find them other places, they may be cheaper. That's the only place that had them around here. Was the, That's the only place we've seen them around here ever. Um, calorie information is, hopefully you can see this, 350, you cannot see that because it's blurry. Hold on. Come on, focus. There we go. <laughs> It's 350 calories per dog, and there's the other information for you. I think I was trying to focus on the wall behind me. So let's see, the directions. Does not want to focus today. There we go. So for a crisp pretzel, you have to basically do it in the oven. We don't do ovens, but you can do it if you want to. We're gonna do the softer pretzel. So we're gonna remove the pretzel dog from the wrapper and place on a microwave safe plate. A microwave and high for at least 60 to, to 90 seconds. I'll probably just do mine for a minute and 10 maybe um, until internal temperature reaches 165. Let it sit for one minute and then be careful to be hot. So, yeah, I'll probably put mine in for like 70 seconds just to just be a little bit above the minimum. So this is what they look like. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna remove this from the package, put it on a plate and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. Not much to look at, honestly. There's a little moisture on the plate, but it's okay. Um, again, I put it in there for 70. It's plenty hot enough. But if you have a smaller microwave, you may want to go up a little bit. So there's what it looks like inside. It looks like a, almost looks like a sausage instead of a hot dog. <laughs> so I'm going to let this set for just a minute just to cool off, and I'll be back. Okay, I cut it into smaller pieces just so I could eat it easier on video, honestly. Um, so I cut it in these little slices. So here we go. I'm just going to try one kind of out of the middle. And they do say a softer, chewier pretzel. That's what you get. Um, you're missing that, you know, like a pretzel, even a soft pretzel has a little bit of skin on it. Has a little toughness to it. You're missing that. This is mostly just chewy. Um, it's soft, but it's still got a chew to it. I love the flavor of the hot dog. I've never bought Nathan's hot dogs before. They have them, um, I think they sell them at Meyer. Might sell them at Walmart or Kroger. One of those two, I can't remember. They sell them in a store locally. Um, I might try these out as, as on the grill just to cook out on their own because I do like the flavor um, of just the hot dog itself. It's got a uh, it's got a little bit of a snap to it because they're not really uh, mushy. They're kind of a, a denser um, material, almost like a sausage. Like I said, it kind of looks like a sausage. It has a similar texture to a sausage. It's denser. Um, I think these would be better in the oven, truth be told, because it wouldn't be quite so chewy. It would get a little crust on the outside. It would get a little crispy. Um, but... That being said, I think the microwave is fine. It just no, does make it really, really chewy, but I like the flavor. Yeah, I really like the flavor of that hot dog. And the pretzel itself reminds you of a soft pretzel as far as the flavor goes. There's no salt. They didn't put any salt on it. It's probably salty enough as it is. You know, I didn't look at the sodium, but I'm sure it's plenty high enough. Um, the yeah, 880 milligrams of sodium just in the one hot dog with the pretzel bun. Um, so sodium's high enough they didn't have to put salt on them, but it would have been cool if they could have put salt on the outside of like a soft pretzel. But anyway, that being said, I think these are good. They're not awesome, but they're they're really good. Um, I do enjoy them. I think the price as far as where I bought them was really expensive. Um, if you've ever bought these before, you know the price of them. Leave a comment below. Let me know how much they cost in just a regular grocery store, not one of these, because Critchville Meat does tend to be a little bit more expensive on um, stuff like this than other places do. So if you get them in your local grocery, let me know. I'm curious what the regular price is at a regular store. So I'm going to give these, you know, truth be told, I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them a four out of five. I really do like them. I think the quality is good. The textures are good. The flavors are good. Dip them in a little mustard. They'd be, be awesome. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.